Hey guys, it is me, Simone. I am back and I'm with a box. Um, so, I did not tell you this. <laughs> because I've been really preoccupied lately. I went on a cruise like last week and then I am in the process of buying a house. And so I just really have been preoccupied a lot lately. But I, I ended up ordering a Soul Doll back in um, August, the middle of August or beginning of August. And it's now November the 25th and he is here. I saw him on Alice Collections BJD and then I just ended up ordering him through the Soul Dial website. They had a sale going on and I got him like a little promotion they were doing. You know, if you bought a certain dollar over a certain price point, um, you got money off of the doll. And then Alice Collection was doing deals too. If you got a certain doll, you know, you could get a head or you could get like free clothing and something like that. That's pretty cool promotion so I am getting him because I've been having I've done I think I told you guys before I've been having difficulties getting you know like you find a lot of dolls that are from like fairyland on AliExpress and eBay you don't find um a lot of dolls in the scale that I want on AliExpress like if I want a more serious doll I would have to go up to uh, what size is that? Is that SD size? Yeah, SD size. It's like over um, 50 centimeters, like 60 centimeters and stuff. Yeah. And I I want my doll to be too big. That I think that's be too big for the scale. Um, so I decided I wouldn't do that. And I wanted to find a doll that was like 50 centimeters or um or so that give me a good look I'm sorry, I just saw something on my shirt so that's why I'm looking um that's kind of where I came with with him and so I saw him I like to sculpt he's the right size I think he's 50 I think he's 49 or like 51 centimeters and so he is the soul doll Vito. I think his name is Liam. So here is the box. Hope I'm in frame because I really can't see too much. It has a box out. So this is the longest I've wait for, waited for a doll. Um, and to be honest, I actually kind of ended up forgetting about him because <laughs> I was so preoccupied with my whole like moving process and getting my vacation um plans under lock so i forgot about him i i remembered you know like in august I, I planned out based on what they told me that he would be here shortly after my cruise which i was correct on that so his is box you can you can already start smelling the resin <laughs> so this is my first um i guess company bjd or legit bjd because all the other ones i have are recast and this is the most expensive doll i've had so far oh he comes in a nice little bag let me show you this bag look at that <laughs> but you can start smelling the resin Oh wow! So it's like a pillow. He's on a. Okay, so he comes with um, string and putty here, and then he's. You see him? <laughs> Bubbled up and everything. This is his certificate of authenticity. So he is the Vito Liam, um, and I got the issue date. I got him. 11 well it says the 25th i guess they shipped him out maybe the 22nd because this is 11 22nd 2019 so they must have he must have been finished around that time or so and so it's like my little 
It's a tip for kids. It's the first one I ever have. <laughs> That's not like the the same thing you always get. I'm gonna put it back in there. Um, I'm gonna take I wanna take him out and see him. And then I'm gonna put him right back in his box because I'm moving. I'm like in the process of moving. Um, my room is so messy right now. So I just wanted to take him out because I knew I was not gonna wait until next week or so to open him. So I'm just gonna keep this box here. And I'll put his putty and his string back in the box too. So this is how he comes. You think I did I think I have noticed though is when you buy like off of AliExpress, when you buy multiple dolls from like one company, especially from like O'Nifs and stuff, they don't send you a box. They just send you the dolls wrapped up. Because I made more purchases from between him. I just didn't do an unboxing video because I was impatient. But I'll show you the dolls later. But I'm telling you, I've been really loving Alice Collection um, dolls. I, I mean, they're, they're deals. You know. I still run into sometimes similar problems. Like, even on Alice Collections. You know, with her, the different companies they have. Good sales, though. Like, really good deals. But I still run into some problems trying to get dolls, like, in the MSD size that aren't, like, Fairyland-esque. You know, that look more serious and stuff. You know, because I have characters that, you know, can definitely um, be put in that cutesy, big eye, big head. And then I have char characters like this character here where you know they they really won't that won't do for them so that's the only that's why I got him oh wow Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. And I'm just like staring at him, but wow. And I've already packed up all my other BJDs already, so I can't compare them to him. But wow, he has some big feet though. Like his feet are huge. Let me see like his head. Yeah, he's an S hook. That's a putty. Hmm, interesting. Like he has, if you can, I don't know if you can see that in his magnet socket, it's really ugly looking. <laughs> ah, it is really ugly looking. And I got him with pierced ears. Like I asked for pierced ears because they're free, and I was like, I want him to have pierced ears. So this is my character called. Um, his nickname is Monkey. I had written down his name somewhere, but. It's taken me so long to think of his like real name because he was always just referred to as Monkey that I am not used to it. So I don't remember at the moment in time. Um, but he came with gray eyes. They are so pretty and detailed. So here he is. Uh, can you see him? Oh my gosh. So he's in um, one of the versions. They have two versions of like white skin. His is more pinky. Oh my gosh. I wish I had them unpacked. Like my other dolls unpacked. Like so I can see the size comparison. I have to do another video with them together. But right now I have 11 dolls. And I told myself... I'm not going to buy any more dolls until I finish doing their face-ups and giving them outfits. Because most, I, I think, out of all my dolls so far, I think 
four or five of them already have face ups and the reason the other ones don't have face ups is because I needed to dye them I'm dying some of my dolls um, because I buy I'm, I've mentioned this before I buy a lot of my dolls in white skin because it's a lot of times like severely cheaper than buying them in tan skin and then what I do is I just dye them afterwards um, to get the skin color I want um, the only time I don't do that is if the doll like buying the doll and tan skin is like a couple dollars more expensive if it's because it only cost me about five bucks to go get the dye I use which is the poly dye it works amazing um, so it takes me say five dollars plus gas a couple cents and if the doll costs like seven bucks more to be tan skin I'll just get tan skin or ten dollars I might do ten dollars too but if it's like a 20 or 15 or 13 dollar difference I'll just buy the dye and do it myself but oh my gosh I don't even know what to say though like he is heavy but he's a bigger doll and a lot of my my other dolls were heavy I love his eyes though I just love his glass eyes they're like one of my favorite I want to keep them eyes like but what I want to do with him I kind of wanted him to be mixed um, like very light skinned I don't I'm not that light but almost like my, my hands a little red but almost like that a little bit more mixed I'm still got my tan on from my vacation I was in the Bahamas and stuff <laughs> but um, I wanted to be a little more um, browner but not tan more like a like a very light brown so I got him the pinky tone I don't know if I will dye him or I'll just blush him a little bit darker because I, I was scared to seeing his his um his person online. I was scared how he's going to turn out. I was like, oh, I was so nervous to see if he'll be, but I love him. So this is yeah, this is my most expensive doll so far, and um, all my other dolls, uh, like, because I was in the math, because I was just saying, um, all my other dolls would have trying to think cost I think five dolls equals the price of him right no 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 because I bought how many dolls did I buy last time I bought four dolls right yeah I think I bought four dolls and it cost me about two hundred dollars he was four hundred dollars so about eight dolls give or take depends on the doll if I give them a good sale like Black Friday sales or 1111 sale you know those kind of many thousand sales AliExpress does <laughs> um, I can get about seven dolls for the cost of him so basically the deal I did was you know the the more you spent the more you got off so basically the percentage I got off covered my shipping so I basically paid just for him but after those people those packaging they lie so badly aliexpress the, the doll companies they lie so badly they said this doll was 40 bucks i was like what 40 dollar doll you see here you need to add another zero to that doll but um yeah i am i'm i'm in awe pretty much like um i don't know what to say i, I look how thick he is though you know how you know he's not as scrawny as my other ones my what's the doll is that what's the doll is that it's a doll she my doll she felipe grant felipe he's pretty skinny my mom she thinks he's ugly because he's like too scrawny but i i love how thick he is and like he feels really sturdy so he's gonna be a basketball player that is what he is that's why i wanted him a little bit taller so i think he is my tallest doll i think he's 53 I'm going, I don't remember exactly. It's been a while since I got him. But yeah, he is the doll. He's doll she. No. He's a soul doll. Um, Vito. 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 Vito Liam. Which is a size I liked. And there was another sculpt that I liked too that I could envision him in. Um. But I'm glad I went with this one. I'm, I'm so happy. I can just see it. I just I love him oh my gosh I'm so excited to see him 
next to other dolls after I blush them. I might keep them this skin tone. Um, and then I might just blush him a little darker. I might not dye him because that requires me to um, unstring him. I'm not feeling that. I had already unstring four dolls <laughs> to to put them in the um, dye them. So I, I'm just not really feeling that. Hmm. Sorry, guys. But wow. I'm excited. I'm so, I'm so happy. Oh gosh, I'm just sitting here blushing and gushing over him because he's just so good. So I need to get his clothes and stuff. I haven't thought of his style yet. Um, I haven't gotten that far with him. So I'm, I'm. Oh my gosh, monkey. But I know for him, since I never got had a, like a real name for him, he always just went by Monkey. I made sure the name I did pick for him, it's in my book because I forgot. It's been a while. The name I did pick for him, you know, does start with the M, of course, and it is a little more complicated to say. Like, there's like a reason why. I wanted to, I, you know, I kind of played with that. I want a reason why they're calling him Monkey. It's like maybe because his name is from a, you know, a different part of town country and it's a little harder for some people to say it so I just I think it's interesting and even though he's not as like his muscles aren't as like cut in there they're still there and I still like you know emphasis I wanted him to still be a little muscular but he will be my tallest doll so far and I didn't want him that tall because I still want him to be able to use some of the props and the um things I make but he's gonna have the biggest feet those are like lifeboats right here <laughs> you guys they're not they're they're giant is that even like if he was a, a real person he would be like six foot something with like size 18 feet like oh gosh that's a it's amazing that, that's really all I, I have to say about him so far I'm going to rewrap him for um, transport to my new house and then um, I'll do some more updates with these dolls later on and the um, dolls I did not do an unboxing video for I will um, do a video kind of talking with them I do want to make some more videos talking about like my experience with recast make some videos talking about like my, my thoughts right now about recast and legits and stuff and then um, yeah he will be just for a single item he is the second most expensive thing in my room right now besides my bed was the most expensive I have in my room my tower to my computer over there and then he I have other things like the thing behind my head here this thing is not cheap either but this is only a hundred and something versus he's like this was 400 bucks um, my bed is the closest to that because I have a tufted needle bed so it, it was a it was a big decision even to the more expensive machinery I have in here it's like under 200 bucks so it was, it was a a hard decision for me to to get him it took some time to think about that um, but I'm, I don't regret anything I really do love him but I'll tell you one thing though I mean I have to compare it but he doesn't feel I mean he feels heavy but I don't see anything that's like overly better than my recast especially the Onif ones I love his skin tone though. His skin tone is like my favorite. It's just so creamy. Oh, and he's just he oh gosh. I can't help it guys. He's so good. I'm so excited. And I'm so glad that he pierced his ears for me. And I I'm so glad I got his ears pierced. So there's two on this side and one on this side. 
Um, I don't know if he's gonna wear earrings. He might have have his, he might have little studs in his ears. Who knows? But I wanted to have the option because I think he could definitely rock it. His character could definitely rock it. And then his joints, you know, he is double jointed, so they can do that. You know, he might need some suading or something to help him hold those poses a little better. But oh gosh. I'm in love. <laughs> I am so in love with him. Ugh, I can't help it. <sighs> Alright, that's it. That is that's it in the video. I'm just gooing and gogging over here. So here's the the bag. Uh, it's not bad, it's a pillow. There's two pillows in there. One has strings, one doesn't. I'm going to wrap him right back up. I'll wrap him back up in here. Keep his certificate of authenticity. And then I will put him back in here and he'll be ready for um, me to take him to a new house and get shelvings for all my dolls and stuff. I'm excited because I have more space to do things like dioramas and stuff like that for them. But I'm going to package him. Loosely back up into it. Um, no shame in my game. Reuse and reduce, guys. Yeah. For my other dolls, I just wrap them in like thick clothing. <laughs> I just yeah, I just put them back in like um the clothes like some thick jackets and stuff because it's not co that cold here yet. I live in the south; it doesn't get too cold until we get closer to December or in December. But our coldest months are January, you know. So. Hold him with the bubble wrap. Just to it. And I don't know where his face top went. I'm done. Just me packing over here. So I will see you guys soon. Much love. Bye. Have a great day.